Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Oh, yes. we are. Yes, now we are. are. Yes, yeah. We're going live. We're going live. <laughs> Man, is it always? It just kind of creeps up on me. I I get it. You, you gotta wait for the red thing to come up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and and now that you have the power, you get to see all this stuff. Right? But I surrender the power to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Put it all I don't on want me. The power. <laughs> yeah. No, no pressure. No pressure. No, no pressure. tech power for me today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So how, how, how have you been? It's been a week. It's been a week. I've been good. Um, <clears throat> I've been challenged by oh. lack of focus. <laughs> <laughs> I have moments of focus, of deep focus, and then I'm just, uh, just there's a lot of ding, ding all over the place. Um, like I was saying, you know, I feel a little bit frustrated by the amount of um, notifications that I receive from social media and emails and text messages and, you know, WhatsApp and Telegram. It's just everywhere, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. I've kind of noticed that myself and 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 um and maybe that's a subject of 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 uh in the future, you know, talking a bit about overwhelming, being you know, having that feeling of being overwhelmed by, <clears throat> by so much information or so much of whatever it is that's overwhelming us. I I, I actually had noticed that myself this week. Um how distracted I was every time my screen kind of lit up because I've got the notification things on. Right. Mm -hmm. So that I, I, get, I see all this kind of stuff and I'm going to myself, like, do I really need this? Like, like, is it really <laughs> that important? You know, kind of a yeah. thing. Like I, I'm not sure what the value is. Right. And yet, and yet I haven't turned it off yet. <laughs> you know, kind of, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a tricky place, right? Because when I don't pay attention that I miss some big things, like, I feel like my email right now is like, uh, I'm just rebelling against email. I don't even check it. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, the teacher did say that. Uh, I needed to put this in my son's backpack, and I failed to do that. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's very tricky, and I think this would be a very, very good subject for, you know, one of our conversations because it does do the thing that we preach to people, right? It, it removes your focus. It doesn't allow you to be efficient with your time. And distractions is like a stop and restart, stop and restart. And we we ourselves are challenged by it, right? We're not immune to anything that we, we preach, right? Yeah. We're, yeah. you know, playing yeah. on the We're same. Human. We're human. We're human. We're playing on the same field as everybody else, right? Yeah. That's right. <clears throat> Because we have a title of a, a or whatever title we want to you know use or whatever doesn't doesn't remove us from everything else that everybody else is going with right exactly and you know i would love to spend this next week to figure it out so i can be a little more resourceful when we discuss it <laughs> <laughs> and today i would love to focus on forgiving myself oh. for not being as focused as I expect myself to be, right? Okay, okay. yes. So, yes. Yeah, so, so, well, I think it's very, I think it's an, it's an important aspect of the topic forgiving. Because, you know, a lot of, a lot of times when, you know, when we look at, I mean, even the definition, I think everybody's got sort of different definitions of what forgiving looks like, right? And their experiences of forgiving. So I, I'm I'm interested in hearing hearing that aspect of it. But even even the notion of you know at, at first glance when you say you know forgiving, it's like we're forgiving somebody else. Like it's it's pointing outside. It's pointing outside initially, right? But yes, you. I mean, you point right to the heart of of where I think forgiveness really lies. Is 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 the forgiveness of yourself, mm -hmm. you know, um, and, and how much, how much, how much we don't, how much we don't and how much that's a, sometimes, sometimes, yeah. not all the times, the hardest type of forgiveness, right? Yeah. Because we tend to put ourselves last on the forgiveness list, right? Yeah, but what? Why do you think that is? 
and, and that's, I, I believe that's true. I believe I believe we're at the bottom of the of, of the of the pecking order. Well, I mean, it's conditioning, right? Okay. Uh, we were conditioned to think of ourselves in a certain way from society, from our parents, right? It always goes back to that, right? The way we were wired. That's just pure truth. We were wired to behave this way. We behave in a certain way is because we were wired to behave in that way. Sure. Conditioning. <laughs> right? yeah. I, I, Conditioning. Yeah. yeah. So it's that. And it's like we just feel like because it's us that we can just, uh, you know, not be so on point with what we're doing or how we, you know, how we, I don't know, like the grace that we give ourselves, right? We, we're always like looking outwards, in my opinion, right? We're always looking at others, right? We, we, there is this also another conditioning of really seeing forgiveness as an act that you, you, you do towards others, right? Yeah, that's, the, that's, that's part of the conditioning, you know, yeah. and I remember, you know, raising my kids, you know, it's sort of like, you know, one of them would hit the other one and, and right away you would say, you know, like, say you're sorry. Right. You know, saying story is part of, you know, kind of that forgiveness piece. Right. Um, you know, please forgive me. I'm sorry. You know, so it's it's kind of built into into our culture that way. But I but you said something that really kind of struck me. And all of a sudden I just kind of lost the thought about it. About the the um, I mean, it'll probably come back. Well, like you're just being used to looking at things from the inside out and like putting things out on the outside of ourselves. Yeah, it, it was, it was, it was sort of the whole notion of like, like, like putting us, putting, putting us last as opposed to being first. And, and when I heard you started to, to speak about that, I was, I was wondering about when we don't forgive ourselves, what effect or effect do we have on others when we're not forgiving ourselves? So, so sometimes forgiveness, things that we do for ourselves, comes across as, oh, I'm I'm being selfish. Right? Yeah, I'm just like, letting my cutting myself some slack, right? I'm just yeah. allowing myself to be, you know, in this case, like lazy or not, like not show up the way I should, right? That that's a yeah. lot of the inner chatter that's going on. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, I think that that's very much the space that it comes from. But yeah. when you do let go of all of that, right? And you're able to forgive yourself. What you do you, is you prevent what not forgiving yourself, sitting in that space of feeling bad about yourself does, because you're in a disempowered space. You don't show up as powerfully. It's going to affect energetically everybody else around you. You're gonna be snappy. You're gonna feel bad about yourself. You may even feel low in mood. Right? There's many different things that it can affect. So, and it doesn't really solve the fact or change the fact that you didn't get the, the to-do list done that day, right? Yeah. Let's say yeah. that this is all about my to-do list. Mm -hmm. It doesn't change my to-do list. It just puts me in a disempowered place where I feel bad about myself. I feel low and I feel like, you know, I didn't do something. Like it puts you lack. That's what it does, right? And so the moment that you can let go of that and really look at yourself with compassion, you shift into a different state of being, right? Mm -hmm. In a more empowered state of being where you can now just look at things differently, right? Well, how can I take this opportunity and turn it into something that's teaching me how not to repeat this? Or what is it that's, that was so distracting or taking my focus away and let's look at that it can be many different things right yeah absolutely and 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 even that in its own sometimes can get kind of muddled and, and confusing right you know trying to trying to make something more out of what that feeling is like for me i i get the feeling and you know and forgiving myself for really adding it's almost it's almost like forgiving myself for going in that direction. In other words, you know, making something more of it than it really is, and whether that might be making somebody wrong for it or making myself wrong for it or you know any of that heaviness 
right? So it, it's part of what we were talking about last last week about this whole notion of letting go, right? It's it's really forgiving myself for going down that path. Like like I don't have to beat myself. Oh, there I go again. That or that kind of thing, right? It's like be light. Like give yourself grace. Give yourself grace to make a mistake. Like you you really can't get it wrong, right? Like you get different feedback. Some of it feels better than others, but it's all just natural feedback. So in, in a sense, you can't necessarily get it wrong. Um, and therefore, why, you know, give yourself some room, give yourself some grace, give you give yourself the space to to allow whatever it is to happen the way it should naturally happen instead of trying to fight it. So I think there's a lot of, for me, forgiveness. I mean, that, that's probably the biggest, biggest hurdle for me is it's the inward focus, right? Cause, cause mm -hmm. if we, cause if we start focusing outwards, <clears throat> then I'm asking myself, well, what exactly am I forgiving? Right. Mm. Wow. I mean, <laughs> do you want a list? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious about, about I mean, I think I think forgiveness, right? I mean, we, we jumped right into forgiving ourselves, which is which is not necessarily where the mind goes when you speak of forgiveness. It's usually somebody that has wronged us or somebody that, you know, in our lives that's toxic or, you know, a situation oh. or event or something that we find yeah. that's unjust or wrong, right? Yeah. And and so it becomes the challenge there is to find a way to forgive, right? And I think that there are situations where the forgiveness can be a little bit easier to accomplish and situations where it's a process, right? There needs to be the acceptance that it is going to be a gradual process into forgiveness. <laughs> okay, I, I, can, I challenge, can I challenge you just a little bit? Can I ask you? Sure. Okay, okay. Sure. Um, because I'm curious, because 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 I agree with you. There's a sense of some things are easier to forgive mm -hmm. than others. There's, a, there's I I feel that sense. I feel that in me, right? I feel it. You know, like oh yeah, yeah, no problem. You know, it's like you 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 shortchanged me. You know, I for you know I don't say it. Well, I forgive you. Cat, you know, kind of, <laughs> but I, I you know I say hey, no problem, no problem. To me, it's like. You know, I'm not going to make anything of it. I'm not going to make anything bigger than it really is. You know, thank you for giving back the money or whatever, you know, whatever. Those kind of minor things, right? But yeah, there's a stickiness. There's some things that just feel more stickier. That mm -hmm. that that when I make the effort to, they're, they're, they, they're, they seem to linger. It's like it's never quite. But you see, I... I truly believe that the process in a minor situation is really the same. It's like letting go. Like there's, there's really no difference. The act of forgiving is forgiving no matter what it is. And I think sometimes I know personally, I have anyways, I have mixed the behavior of what I'm seeing in others in, in that beginning, be of forgiveness thinking that what i'm forgiving is their behavior mixed in with it but i'm not for me actually i'm actually even though it might be directed towards i'm actually forgiving me forgetting who they really are deep down i i'm not excusing the behavior don't get me wrong about that mm -hmm. there's a 100 percent difference between that but it's like I know there's a, there's a, I don't know if you, have you ever heard of um, this Hono, oh, I, I have a hard time pronouncing it. Hono, 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 Hono. Yeah. Hono? yeah. 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 You know, and, th and that whole discipline is all about because you create it, you have to keep for you're, you're asking for forgiveness all the time for creating that particular situation, right? Not mm -hmm. the behavior, but just the experience <clears throat> of it. So part, part of what I'm doing, even though I'm sort of, again, that whole piece about pointing, you know, I'm forgiving you. It's really a lot of most, well, th 
I would say the other 90% of it is really on me. You know, and so I don't know if that's making any particular any sense. So no, yes, it, it is, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's making sense because you know, when we when we forgive something, is because something's been triggered in us. We're going back to the same thing, right? Yes, Triggers yeah. and what yeah. what when have you felt this way before? What is it triggering in you? Right? When we feel wronged, there's something in us that's been triggered, right? Yeah. We just judge it to be wrong, right? Yeah. And on a behavioral level, based on standards of the on of behavior, there are certain things that may appear to be wrong, right? in general right yeah. and again I, I think that's a very important distinction that you're making it's not about condoning the behavior it's about understanding again that the person is doing the best that they can with the you know yes. with where they're at in that moment yes. right with the yes. tools they have the understanding that they have in that moment right yeah. And so when you when you shift into that space and you shift into compassion and now you can remove the, the charge of you know anger, resentment, and and shift into forgiveness slightly, right? Yeah. But the stickiness that you're speaking to, the yes. stickiness is what is it really triggering in you? How sticky is it in you? What's being triggered? Right? That's yeah. what makes it really sticky because. Certain things like, you know, I, it's actually interesting that you brought up, you shortchanged me. That happened to me last week. Somebody overcharged me for something. Now I'm back and I said, I said something. He was not kind, walked away, and I was really angry, right? Um, and I'm like, you know what? After today's talk, I will forgive him. I'm going to stop going back there um, to just, you know, try and talk to him about it. But, you know, certain things are a little bit easier to let go of. That, what is that triggering in me? Nothing really like so close to, right, home. Yeah. It's yeah. more like, yeah, you charged me for something that I didn't buy, yeah. right? And, and therefore, I'm upset about this, right? So that's fairly easy to forgive. And it's not someone close to us, right? Yeah. It also depends on who we are trying to forgive here, right? But when it's something that triggers something deep within us or a wound or something in our inner child, right? Or something that still is a trigger for us, then that's, that becomes more of a work within ourselves, the forgiveness piece. And that's why I was saying forgiveness can really, really, really be a process, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it's not just like a simple step. I'm gonna shift into compassion at times. It's not just a simple step. You're not just gonna, shift make that shift that easily because there's a lot of work to be done in in that step right within you it it, it could and 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 um uh, thanks for um for joining us monica um you know monica uh, is commenting that it seems to me that when we feel like someone has wronged us it's because we have an expectation of how they should have behaved <clears throat> And that's not really fair to begin with, and 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 that's part that's part of part of it because it's really um, this week this week I, I was in a in a in a couple of workshops and one of them we were talking about preferences preferences and needs and and how we sometimes get mixed up you know there's certain preferences I like to have da 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 this way you know kind of a thing. Um, like I have whatever it is, I like to have my coffee black, you know, that kind of, that's a preference for me. Right. Um, and, and if, if somebody gives it to me with cream in it, it's like, it's not meeting my preference. Mm -hmm. And, and now I'm turning that, I, I can easily turn that preference into a need. Well, I need to have my coffee black. So therefore now it's like, I'm making more, more of it other than it's just a, it's just a preference that's not being met, you know, kind of thing. So there's a bit of a rub, there's a bit of a feeling, there's a bit of heavy, there's all sorts of different things. And which comes out, you know, comes into, and I think where the, a lot of the stickiness for me comes in is not only the expectations, but the values that are not met. I was, I was going to say that. Yeah. You just, it's like, you just read my mind because of I course think I read it is about, <laughs> of course you did. Cause I think it is, it is when it gets really, really sticky is because our values are being crossed, right? Our values are not being, you know, aligned in that moment. Right. So uh, how are values 
developed? Through conditioning. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah it's so a we could just take this to a whole extreme and say then then not that murdering people is a value that we just all made up. That's that murdering people is wrong is a value. Right? I, I thought we could about take it to that extreme, right? Yeah. Well, you could, you could. And 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 when you when you look at what the value systems were 200 years ago or even 400 years ago, you know, what, what we felt was normal at that time, right. Um, was acceptable practice. Like, yeah, like murder, people, people, <laughs> well, murder, right. Yeah. You know, I watch gun smoke or my dad does all the time. And, um, <laughs> you know, or, or, you know, people, people 200 years ago were getting married at 13. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, so there's, you know, whether it's cultural or conditioning or or whatever, you know, values do tend to be a lot more fluid than than what what personally in the moment it feels like. Like it feels like they're solid, and anytime something happens that rubs up against my values, for me it's it, like I. I, and it, part of it is conditioning, but I can't, I really have a hard time when I see somebody bullying somebody else. Of course. Yeah. You know, like, and, yeah. and I was, I was <clears throat> bullied a lot. You know, it triggered like, something in you. Well, right? Of course it does. Of course it does. Yeah. Right. But yeah. understanding where the source of that's coming from is important. Right. Yeah. It's not that I'm excusing the behavior. Right. Because I know that even though, doesn't look great i know that that person is really acting at the level of his understanding because obviously if he understood better he would he would do things differently right but his whole insecurities are showing up i you know i don't like the way they show up they can be very damaging and all all sorts of different things and you know and it doesn't mean that I'm not going to act accordingly. And that's the, that's the key piece is, am I going to act accordingly and respond or am I going to react to the situation through my, my triggering points, mm -hmm. which I think there's a fundamental difference between the two. Cause what one I feel has a space for grace and the other one doesn't. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, and I, and I like what you said about values fluctuating. Yes. I read, that's the thing. There's this mental, uh, almost like, um, you know, our mind loves to just set th things into place and keep them there. Right. So those are my values. And you, we just in, in the back of our minds, we just keep those values. Right. But the moment that we sit down and like actually write it down or really ponder upon what those values are, let's say 10, 20 years from the last time that we did it, even five years, right? Sometimes even just one year later. Yeah. And we question then. We may not feel the same way, right? So values fluctuate for the person and values fluctuate and are widely different from person to person, right? Okay. And most times conflict comes you know, especially in like close relationships, when those values are not aligned, right? Or we feel like our values are not being respected. Or, or our expectations are not being or met. Or expectations are not being met. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, and so for me, you know, flipping, flipping forgiveness around in the sense of it's not that I need to forgive that person for, for, for what they're kind of doing. I need to forget forgive myself for projecting whatever experience mm. I am having on that person because I can't be fully present if I'm hanging on to that unkept expectation or an unkept value or, you know what I'm, what I'm mm. saying? Yeah. I mean, I think it is, um, it is a forget like forgiving, right? It's everything is a, is a cycle. It is a yes. give and take, right? So yeah. when you forgive, you also have to ask for forgiveness, right? You, because you, you are looking at what is being triggered in me. How did I show up, right? That's the way I had, I've had to do it. And so I've who, had to do who it you were asking forgiveness to? I'm just curious. Like when you say you need to ask <laughs> for forgiveness, I'm just curious. Like, like who are you asking? Well, let's, let's, without being very specific, right? Okay. Because it, it can be, you know, dicey. 
um, relationships, when relationships end, right? Okay. Yeah. Right? You, I, I think it's crucial to see your part in it. Like you could be 99.9999% right um, based on all like conditioning and, you know, standards of living or acceptance, whatever you want to call it. And you still had a part in it. There was a point where you were in that relationship, went along with it. You played a part in it, you, regardless. Well, yeah, you have a role. Right? You, um, you have a role. So yeah. taking taking responsibility for your part is just as important, right? Now, when it is about you know relationships, you know, like love relationships, especially, it, it can take some time. Because it's, it's, you know, this step in between, it, it's extremely loaded. It's not loaded, it's extremely loaded. There's a lot, there's a lot of processing, there's a lot of acceptance, there's a lot of letting go. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, reframing, right? And a lot of trying, trying really hard to see the other perspective, right? So not just reframing things for yourself, but also like seeing things from the other side, right? And a lot of expectations that now you have to let go of. You know, they can be a lifetime expect expectations, you know, like of building a family together and what, you know, parenting two children together should have been like, right? And it's not. So there's there's a lot of sticking points there, right? It, it can get is. so yeah. sticky <laughs> that you may just find yourself stuck to it, right? I, yeah, I, and, and that's where I think we're... <clears throat> it's fun, you know. I mean, I I am of um, I'm, I'm losing my, my my ability to speak right now. Um, <laughs> forgive <it's>, yourself. <laughs> yeah, forgive myself. Yes. Um, is you know, I believe there's a notion though that that, and I and I heard this analogy today. <clears throat> you can shift your life you can shift your perspective you can shift whatever it is that that you need um you know even around the you know the whole forgiveness piece one percent would make a difference one percent every and, day and it so it doesn't <laughs> have to be any grandioso thing or anything like that it could be just like one all in all you need to do to let go of or forgive for is one like one percent if there was a list of a hundred things let's say because you know and and the person that was just talking about this and it wasn't about forgiveness it was about something else but i i'm i'm going to steal the analogy is a paint can and i know you're a designer so you so you you kind of know about colors and things like that <coughs> Excuse the me. when you take a gallon of paint and you want say a certain color right um it starts off white. The whole can is white, right? So that's a big can, right? And when you watch them tink the, 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 the paint can, it's like drop, drop, drop. Like, mm -hmm. like in relationship to the gallon of paint of white. It's a drop. It's, yeah. It's a drop. It's a drop in the bucket, literally, right? And then they shake it. And it's like, holy moly, the color is just like, like just that little bit of drop. And so I guess what I'm, what I'm saying is in inviting others to, to look at when it comes to forgiveness or whatever that, you know, as much as we think, you know, it's going to be hard or tough or whatever, or, or it's going to, you know, it's like, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't take a lot. It just takes a little, like, sometimes it is just a drop. And then all of a sudden, it's like the like, like the the Jenga, you know, or the stacking cards, you know, whatever it is. It's sort of like it's just it's just that one little thing that makes everything just fall away. And I'm going to challenge you for a second, right? You because I completely agree with you, right? A drop can make a huge difference. It already starts changing the color, as yeah. slight as it may be. Is yeah. starting to change the color. Yes. And sometimes, especially in relationships, which is why it is so tricky with relationships that are close to our heart, you know, close to us. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes 
they just drop another, you know, they just put another bucket of paint in there. And the next day, another, and the next day, another, right? And so it becomes, it becomes a process, a daily process of forgiveness, right? And I think this is an, I think this is an important thing to talk about because there are isolated incidents, mm -hmm. incidents of, you know, someone wronging us and there are toxic relationships, right? Which is, a, yes. you know, a completely different subject, right? That's yeah. where, that's where it becomes very tricky to stay with it because you're challenged by it and you have to be very disciplined every single day, right? The moment you feel like I got done, I got the pink in there, it's looking pinky. <laughs> There's another bucket of paint, right? And now the color's not as pink. <laughs> well, and I, and I think that that kind of goes back to our, what we were originally like talking about a few minutes ago was, was the difference between are we are we trying to forgive the behavior which which we're not going to be able to right that's one thing that that i have learned as a coach is that we can't change behavior right yeah. It, yeah. you know right You're right the only thing that i can do is change the experience of that for me for me mm -hmm. right yeah and 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 I'm not forgiving that person for dropping more paint, right? Or spilling paint or throwing paint on me, right? That That is not what I'm forgiving them for, right? No, I um, completely agree, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, so I think it's important, you know, when we look at forgiveness, what, what we're actually forgiving, what we're actually forgiving. Right. So I don't know, like, you know, and it's different. Well, for really forgiving is letting go of expectations. That's what forgiving is. Right. And it is oh, about thanks, going Monica, back for bringing to... that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I appreciate that. No, no, but you're right. Yeah. The expectation. Right. right. Yeah. So, yeah. So whose expectations then? It's your expectation and yeah. we're humans, right? Yeah. We're humans. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the moment that the trigger comes back in, Right. Let's in, let's let's put it in the form of the toxic behavior or the toxic sure. pattern. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're challenged by it again and again. You have to take a break and and just take yourself back to, you know, like okay, I'm not really focusing on the behavior. What is this triggering in me? And this person is doing the best that he or she can with the knowledge they have in this moment. Right. And feel compassion and, and shift into that. Nonetheless, until this becomes really, really automated, which I can proudly say that it has for me okay. with certain people in my life. Right. Yeah. You know, now I just put the, the other I just put the pink in there. Right. Oh, there's another bucket. Let me put a drop of pink. You know, I don't even think about it because I have automated the reaction of forgiveness. Right. Mm -hmm action toxic behavior okay forgiveness right I, I don't really sit in that space of really seeing there's a bucket of pain coming at me anymore right but there was a time that i would get hit by it and i had to like start all over again right and now all that work that i put into forgiveness that i just couldn't feel in that moment right realistically and very honestly right if we really want to speak from the point of view of most people there are moments I don't feel like forgiving you. I just want to sit in this anger because I'm I'm angry, right? I just need to feel the feeling in that moment. So there were moments where it was challenging for me to forgive. And I, I had to be very, very, very disciplined and go back to it every single day, 1% every day, right? Half a percent every day. I, I was taking any percent, 0.1% because it did shift something in me right it did remove some of the charge it did remove some of the anger right and then as you exercise this you can thank that person for being your their, their your greatest teacher the greatest trainer you've ever had because now you have the muscle very strong right mm -hmm. now you can go and just show up that way in life and be someone who can forgive easily be someone that can shift into that space easily, right? But so to me, for me personally, it was a process. It took some time mm -hmm. because it was, it's close to home often, right? Well, and that's where, that's where most of, 
you know, like when I hear, you know, you know, in a coaching conversation I'll have with somebody, you know, they'll say, okay, I get exactly what you're saying, but, and the, mm-hmm. but is usually directed towards rela- relationships are sort of the biggest thing, right? It's, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, um, because they're very close to you. Right. So one of the, so what, I, what I'm thinking about is, you know, the, the, the notion of forgiveness though is, uh, for me, is is that letting go of you know forgiving forgiving is basically letting letting go of what the situation is to allow yourself the space to 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 deal with it because if I if I go into a conversation or if I go into another relationship whether it's a family member or or you know somebody that that you know I deem that requires forgiveness to kind of a deal. I'm not fully present. I'm, I'm stuck in this whole forgiveness game, you know, kind of thing like, you know, and it's more of a, of a right wrong, like, you know, like we're, mm-hmm. we're the clashing of the two egos, right? Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, you wronged me. No, you wronged me. I'll prove that you did this. No, I'll prove it that you did this, you know, kind of a thing. Right. And there's no chance for growth on either side and there's no chance for anything to happen. Right. Other than, mm-hmm. so there's no win wins. There's there's more of a you know finally you know somebody might might settle on you know what looks like okay I'll just I'll just concede right so now mm-hmm. it becomes a compromise or I'll just give up right and I think there's a difference between forgiveness and this whole notion about giving up because there's another thing around that right surrendering well I'm just going to give up then right is this what you're saying no I'm not saying yeah. any of that kind yeah. of stuff right. What I'm saying is give yourself the space to relax, like that holdness. You know, there's something, we talk about stickiness. The fact you're not forgiving keeps it, keeps it, keeps the glue that binds. Yeah, that's a, that's what's sticky about it. Yeah. yeah. So the, the anger, the, the like, feelings that you have. Yeah. yeah. And as soon as you say, okay, I'm, I'm going to forgive. I'm going to, you know, you, you allow the space. Um, uh, for for grace to happen, for for something different to happen in in that moment. For me, what happens is I can relax, be more of me, and allow the best of both worlds, left brain, right brain, like allow that intuition and wisdom to come in and respond accordingly to whatever the situation is. Something that I may not even have thought about in the, in in the moment, because I I'm, I'm stuck in. I need to get forgiveness or I, or whatever that might look like. Right. It's a, I don't know if that kind of makes any no, no, it, it makes sense. And I think, I think we're kind of saying the same thing, right? Yes, the, uh, when, yeah. when you get caught up in the feelings that it's, that are being triggered, you're in it. Right. And there's really nothing that good that comes out of that. In it nothing. to win it. <laughs> you're, I mean, you're in it to, you know, I, I would like to reframe that, right. You're in yeah. it. And yeah. you now you and now you have this great opportunity to look at what's making you stay there. Sure. Right? Yeah. You're in it and it's just your red flag that's telling you, okay, stop right here. Pay attention. Right? Pay attention to this. But pay attention to it in a different way than than you instinctively you want to pay attention. Right? Totally. Totally. So yeah. so yeah. I think that's that's like because when we think of it like, well, we're just angry because we're in it to win it to me, there's then there we go into like feeling guilty or feeling like we did something wrong, right? Whereas I want to normalize that being angry is normal. I want to normalize that reacting is normal, right? Mm-hmm. And I want to normalize that it's okay to be in it to win it in the moment, right? And just know that that's your signal that you should pause and pivot right cause for cause, yes yeah no and and that you know in mind forgiveness isn't about the other person at all it's about us no longer being tied up in knots because of the situation and and when we're not tied up in it right that's that's free well just the the image of being tied up right and not being tied up mm-hmm. is free right it's just it's oh, a yeah. release in that right and <clears throat> and you know, and and I like what you're pointing towards is, is, is 
being aware of, right? Because so often we we will blindly go into into situations, think that they're all sort of normal, whatever, um, and go into the fight or flight. Mm-hmm. Not of course, realizing, yeah. like because because we're having a shitty experience, whatever we want to label it as, uh, we need to do something about it, which turns it mostly into a fight or flight situation, right? When we honor the experience as what it is, is just an experience. Okay, like I'm. It, this is this is feeling uncomfortable. It's it's that signal. It's 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 your signal, because your body is telling you, right? Like when we pay attention to the signals, we get we get along better with everything, right? We say, like, oh, I'm starting to feel upset. I'm starting to feel sad, and not make it wrong for that. Like you said, like you know, there's not. Like we need to normalize our feelings a lot more. Yeah, our, our feelings are those are, are like our guides. They our are feelings our guides. Are our guides. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And 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 you know, and the you know the the philosopher I love to uh, you know sit banks. Sorry, I'm not to do this while you talk. I'm listening. Okay, yeah, I know you're listening. <laughs> she disappeared, folks. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Big sunset in New York. Yeah, go ahead, rub it in. Um, it, it just you know. I get a good sunrise. Other than the white. I don't like the white. (laughs) You got to see my sunrise. I'm a visual person. I don't like that big block of white behind me. It just bothers me. It works when it's (laughs) see-through. No, I hear you right. (laughs) Sorry. But what he he says, uh, uh, and said, because he's passed away now, but is if we were not so much afraid of our experiences, if we weren't afraid of our experiences, that alone could change the world right and so you know it's in it and it equates to feelings like you know because we we experience life through our feelings so if we were not afraid of our feelings that alone could change your life is not mm-hmm. to be afraid of those feelings <clears throat> and embrace them for what they are signals right yeah and yet that. sometimes we're not only afraid of you know, negative feelings, we're afraid of good feelings too. <laughs> it's amazing what trauma can do to us, right? Can shift us from a good feeling into fear, right? Well, and then there's, yeah, and then there's different conversations. There's a whole but... other conversation <laughs> there, I'm sure, right? <laughs> different conversations. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I love where this is going, right? And yeah. it's, it's, it is about, Forgiving, when we say forgive yourself, I really point to the fact that even forgive your reaction, even forgive the fact that you were angry, forgive the fact that you were triggered, forgive the fact that you did it again, right? Yeah. It's okay. If you're doing it again, is because the muscle is not strong enough yet. It's just telling you, keep practicing. Well, yeah. Keep going at it because you're still sensitive to this. There's still something underneath there that you need to look at. Well, not and and so like I almost want to uh, flip that. Well, yes, you're absolutely correct. I I like how you're pointing, but the uh, what I think we don't realize is our innate state, right? Like like we have built-in resilience and well-being. That's that's like that's our resting place, right? It's our habitual thinking, our conditional thinking that removes us from that place. So I I kind of like and I saw this term I can't remember which book I was reading but we're 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 sort of masters practicing. Like we're yeah. always in practice. We're always in practice, right? When we notice that we're in practice. Like a lot of times like I'm a human, I get caught up in my personal thinking, get lost in it, think think that that's the reality of the world. But then when I notice like oh wait a minute, you know, it's like, shit, that was me, <laughs> you know. Well, it, it's like you're being sucked into the outer reality in that yeah. moment, right? Yeah. And you're just playing in the field of outside of you, right? Yeah. And presence is very much about jumping back in and sitting yeah. still in the place that you're already at. And right? that's what forgiveness gives you. And, and noticing that, you know, yeah. yeah. And that's what forgiveness gives you, not only in terms of yourself, yes. but also in terms of be, being able to see that the other person also yes. 
sits in that place somewhere behind the clouds. Behind There's the a sun, clouds. right? Yeah. The, yeah. The, the sun is shining, right? For all of us, right? The child within us is very innocent and present and, and good, right? Yeah. There's this, uh, this woman that I listen to obsessively. She's a child psychologist. She has a podcast called Good Inside. Oh, and good. I love it. I love yes. it because it's, um, it really points to this fact, right? And it's not, you would think that it, she's really talking about the kids, but she's really talking about the parents, right? Because it always goes back to the parents, right? Always. In her child work, you think is your kid that needs to be disciplined, but they're really there to teach you all the things that you still need to see about yourself, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot no, there. <laughs> well, and 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 that's and that's always what I when I tell you know when I when I'm coaching people like you know like because it is that innocence, you know we learn so much and I and I you know I appreciate having grandkids now too because I get to relive all this stuff again. Is that there's so much innocence in childhood, and 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 wonderment and curiosity and trial and error like they don't have a lot of thinking about trying things, right? You know, like they just do it. Oh, they fell down. Whoa. And, right? And we can forgive them so easily yes. because we see the child, wow. right? So yeah. there's a tip right there. When you're angry with someone, really try hard to see the child inside of them because we all have that inner child. And, That's who and, we are deep inside, right? Right. Absolutely. And, and, and what, but what do we do? Cult, like, conditionally right it's like we forgive them because it's okay they 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 just don't quite understand yet <laughs> you know kind of a thing right and it's like but like wait a minute so what are you saying about your forgiveness to others right and 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 again like who gives you that power so that sounds more of a bypass Right. And that's that's really that's really not what it's meant to be. Yeah. Right. I yeah. mean, I think what you're pointing at is being careful not to turn it into a bypass. Right. Oh, it's just them not being at the level that I'm at. <laughs> right. Well, that's the, um, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And, so, and, that, and and that's where, again, like like we are all humans. We all do the same thing. We're all thinking we all have a conscious about about our life we all have feelings right and 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 knowing that you know we never really get it right all the time anyways or, or who says it's right right like mm -hmm. shakespeare said there's nothing good or bad other than what thinking makes it so so it's it's you know like if we become the judge jury and prosecutor or whatever we want you know kind of a thing i think that's going to bring us into a lot of trouble like we're not going to have a lot of fun <laughs> kind of a thing and i don't know about you but i like to have fun i mean me too who doesn't right yeah. it's just sometimes we forget what that what that looks like yes right how to truly enjoy the fun times too yeah. right analyzed so, Adult. I, Adult. <clears throat> I mean so i i would i would say you know the gist of this conversation is really question everything a you should always yes. question everything Yes, and B, yes. really just just see your part in it and and apply self-forgiveness every day. Yeah. <laughs> we need to forgive ourselves every day from our own expectations, right? Yeah. Uh, I didn't get my to-do list done. You know, I wasn't quite prepared right before we got on this live. <laughs> uh, that my lights are not perfect, right? Like all the things that we just have, all this like chatter you know, inside of us that, yeah. you know, make us yeah. feel like you didn't do something right or, yeah. you know, or maybe I wasn't super prepared. And so what? Well, I can't forgive myself for that, right? Or maybe you didn't get good, much done. Yeah, and that's a good statement. What you said is like, so what? So what? Yeah, so I'm what? still here. <laughs> You're still here. I'm still here. You know, it's like, you know, me too, right? It's like, like we're all in it together. Like we're all trying to figure it out. We're all trying to do the best we can. Yeah, it. I'm not comfortable with what's happening. Yes, okay. Yes, I know. But you know, I know. I know. It's. It could it be better? Of course, it could be better, right? Or maybe I, this is the best that it can be, right? Yeah. Right now, this is the best. This. Well, it. It. it 
it ha- well, it is. This, this is the best. Right? <laughs> this, is the this, this is the best conversation I've had this moment. <laughs> In this moment, I know. Well, thanks. <laughs> how should how should I take that? <laughs> my ego, but my ego just there's came no other in. Moment. There's no other moment. It's Everything true. else is just an illusion. You know, like right. You know, like I, you know. And this is the whole notion of 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 memory based, right? Like we can we can live from our memory. Like I can use that as a comparison, going well according you know last week's conversation. This one's better, you know, kind of a thing. No, no, actually, in the moment, this is the best. This is the best, and this and is truly, what's showing up. Truly, this is the best. <laughs> this is the best, Rick. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> you are the best. Oh no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. It, but so, you know, if anybody has any more comments or or um, or questions, um, um I feel like we've I, I I know we probably could go even longer, but um I feel like it's almost seems to be wrapping up. So it is wrapping up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it uh yeah, it was good. Um oh, oh go. thank you, Adina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get out of my room now. My head will be. <laughs> Forgive yourself, Rick. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. And Monica, more growth seems to come from discomfort than comfort and safety. For sure. Yeah. We well, don't like yeah. it, but it's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and and that and that could be a whole different subject you know, um, too, about, you know, what makes things uncomfortable as opposed to comfort, right? You know, is, is there can be um, an ease into, into what we're doing? And maybe I think uh, you kind of gave a hint on um, maybe next week we could talk about uh, time and struggle and. (laughs) Mm, mm, I would love to touch that subject. I'll be doing a lot of listening. And talking yeah, yeah, <laughs> about yeah. my own challenges with that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, no, absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> and because, you know, Christmas time is Time management. Yeah. yeah. Social can, media. Can, I think can you big, really manage time? Can you really topic. manage time? So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so let's wrap it. And um, thank you very much again. And thank uh, you. Uh, I, I look forward to these uh, Wednesday conversations. Uh, as you know, and uh, I learn lots, learn lots. So me too. They right. are the best. <laughs> okay, no, you're the best. Okay, all right, all right. Thanks very much. Talk, talk to you later. Bye. See you guys. See you next week. You bet.